So we're gonna jump into it. A uh, cool new tool that is available to almost everybody in Google. It is Google Tasks full screen. This is now native in uh, Google Calendar. So what Google has done is they've integrated Google Tasks into the Google Calendar uh, window or widget or whatever. So the way that you get here is if you're in Calendar, uh, up in the top right over here, we have the little check mark. It says switch to tasks. When you click on that, it's going to open up your current tasks lists, and that's gonna be any start task, any task list, or any reoccurring tasks that you have on your calendar. So you can see here that I have four kind of task lists. I have the Mr. Campbell Rocks list, a grocery list, test list one, and test list for this YouTube video. Um, and so it, I've done other videos where I've shown people how to do this like with a workaround, but now it is native in Google Tasks and Google Calendar. So the beautiful thing is, is you can actually um, organize these however you want. So I have four here and I, I've, I've done that on purpose because I don't want to have too many and I may even actually delete one of these. Um, and so we can see just the three of them. So you'll notice that it's adaptive. So when I went from four to three, these lists get a little bit bigger and you can see them clearly. Now you've got this little drop down here, which allows you to grab the list and move it around so you can organize the list. Now, what I wanna do is actually add more lists um, and show you what it looks like as you get more um, compact, or not more compact, but you'll see that you now have a slider. So it doesn't actually move the, the, the new lists underneath. It just has a sliding bar across the bottom here. And uh, you'll see that. So like other tools, you'll have the right sidebar here where you can make that disappear with that little carrot down here on the bottom right. Or you can make the panel appear back if you need to. Now, so I'm going to remove these again. So we're just uh, working with one list. Uh, or three lists, so it's a little bit clearer. So one of the things that I love about tasks and I've always used is the ability to have a reoccurring task that shows up on your calendar that's something that you need to do. It's not necessarily an event. Maybe it's reading time, maybe it's exercise, maybe it's yoga, maybe it's breathing, maybe it's lunch, whatever. But as an educator, I have these small tasks that show up once a month, once a quarter, twice a year, once a week that aren't really calendar events but they fall into something. So every month I have a SAC committee meeting and I have to report that. And so it's not the meeting, so the meeting would go on my calendar, but the reporting of that is something that puts in as a task. Anyway, so we've got this grocery task list here. If you're familiar with tasks, this is the part where you could like and subscribe and take off. If you're unfamiliar with tasks, you can stay here and I'll walk you through a couple of things. But when you wanna add a task, uh, you click here where it has this little blue check mark and it's just gonna pull up a title. And so we'll just add bananas, right? Um, or food, whatever, whatever. It doesn't matter what we're putting. And we can add details in here. Grab the grocery list. Uh, groceries when you go to the store. And you can pick a date and time. And when we go into date and time, I've already had videos created about this, but you can pick a specific day and you can have a time and then you can have this option repeat. And it's just like a calendar invite where you can have reoccurring uh, reminders. You can set the time of day that you want. You can have it repeat every day, every week, every month, every year. This is great for birthdays, different things like that. You can also have it end after a certain amount of occurrences. So maybe there's something that's only happening this year and you want it to happen 10 times after it happens. 10 times, then this would be gone. Now, the beautiful thing about this, right, is once it's added here, it's also added to your calendar. And so we've got this here. You'll see that it's showing up tomorrow. When I click on tomorrow, it goes back and it lets me edit. But if I jump over to my calendar and I refresh this somewhere, and maybe I put it on the wrong day. Oh, I don't have class tasks clicked. So when I click on tasks, it should have, there it is, the task is repeated every day. Now, because I didn't enter a specific time on my task list, it's not showing up at a specific time. It's just showing up as the beginning of each day. Once I go in and change that time, so I'm gonna go in here and we're gonna edit, 
and we're gonna do this. We're gonna set time, we're gonna have it be 10 a.m. We'll click OK. That's saved here on this list. When I go back to calendar and I refresh, you'll notice that the one for tomorrow is set for 10 a.m. because I didn't have it do all occurrences, very similar to a calendar invite or a calendar event. You have to say, you know, update to all events. The beautiful part about tasks lists is you can separate these out into multiple different task lists. You'll notice up here too, I can star them. I can rename the list. I can delete the list. I can move the list to first position. That would just slide it over here as opposed to manually grabbing it and moving over there. So what does that look like when I star an event? So I have a test task here that I've starred. And if I click on start events, it'll only pull up a task that I have starred. And again, if I go to all tasks, it pulls up everything. So if I go over here to this food one we just created and I click on the star, you'll see now that I have two stars. So when I click on start, both of those things show up in my task list. Now, if we mark both of these off, give us a little celebration. The beautiful thing too, again, about tasks is it saves any completed tasks that you have. Just like a calendar uh, event or an invite or a party or whatever, once the event is passed, you can actually go back and search through those. They're searchable in your Google Calendar unless you've absolutely deleted it off the calendar. So you can see here, I can unclick it. It goes back to that the task is not completed. Again, if I click it here, if I wanted to basically double delete, I could click on the trash can and that would delete it forever. And you'll notice that it's asking me, do you wanna delete all past and future occurrences? And that's a no, I don't wanna do that. So there's a lot of different things you can do with tasks. I have other videos that'll walk you through that. Um, and you can actually watch this video up here or over here, wherever it's at, that shows you how to create tasks straight from Gmail um, emails. I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm grateful that you're here.